welcome to another episode of Irrational Moms, coming to you from your favorite neighborhood in Milf Estates, where the handymans are always working 24-7 to help us out. That's right. <laughs> okay, so you can listen to our podcast on Apple or Spotify. You can also go to irrationalmoms.com, and you can find us on YouTube, and you can listen and watch us. And if you go, don't forget to like, comment, and you know subscribe to our channel. And it also, if you have like a question that you guys want to ask us, please put that down because we love answering fan questions. Just remember, they need to be safe for work. All right. So we have a lot to talk about. Um, I mean, we have so much for this episode. We have Tris and her snacks, and we have a funny picky, pickle story. <laughs> uh, we're going to find out why, uh, what's going on with underwear, you know, and then also we need to find out why Annabelle had to call security to her bougie section <laughs> of SoFi Stadium. <laughs> so Annabelle, I think we should start off with this. I mean, your section is super bougie. Okay. And I need to know what happened during the Rams and Steeler game on Sunday. Honestly, maybe it's not bougie enough because dang it. Sorry. The freaking freaking the freaking frickin'. riffraff can still get in there. So I said before it's on the opposing team's tunnel. It's on the glass. Um, and so there's always a lot of opposing teams fans surrounding us, which is totally cool. Like I don't have a problem with, you know, I'm cool with other fans. Like there's a little, you know, smack talking. I enjoy that. I'm a little bit rough around the edges a lot, maybe rowdy. Like, so I'm not phased by stadium fights and things like that. But, um, so there's this couple that sat down behind us. They're Steelers fans. And I'm going to have to say, I actually tweeted about this and I debated on deleting or not because I was like really mad absolute worst fan base I've ever seen in my life. Um, so this couple sits down behind us. They're kind of, you know, young. And immediately the girl says, you picked the wrong seats. And I'm like, well, these are my seats that I own. So and she's like, no, I mean, you shouldn't be sitting in this section. I'm, and so I just try to play it off and joke. Cause I'm not really, I'm not trying to have no problems with nobody. I want to watch the game. So I just joke, and I'm like, oh, we're really excited to see. And I listed a couple of the Georgia players that play for the Steelers. And so they kind of, like, left us alone. But they started messing with everybody else. Steelers fans. This girl is harassing everybody. She's like, there's a couple next to us. And they kept screaming about them being fat. I mean, it was really mean. And I'm just kind of like, God, what? what? Like, why? Um, they're just people who are just jerks. And so at some point, um, this other woman behind me, they the Steelers all have their towels. All, they always, I don't know if they take them. They have, like, one they take every game. Yeah, the terrible the towel. towels. Yeah, the so terrible towels. So she keeps accidentally hitting me in the back of the head with her towel she's waving. And so finally, I'm like, hey, you got to stop hitting me in the head. Like, I know it's an accident, but you got you got to stop. I'm like, hold your towel above your own head to cheer. You don't le have to lean forward on top of me. And her husband's like, what are you saying? I said again. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Like, they realize. So then right after that, the guy with the jerky couple he accidentally hits me in the head with his towel as he stands up my son saw this happen so we know we know he did it and it was clearly an accident I'm like bro come on like because at this point I'm getting irritated I'm like you you gotta this is not acceptable you can't just keep hitting people so the guy gets mad because he's like I would never do that I would never hit a woman I would I was like I know you didn't do it on purpose just please freaking stop and he, <laughs> were you that way? Seriously? <laughs> I no, I that. did. I was like, look, I know it's not on purpose, but you have to, cause I was getting mad at this point. I'm like, en enough. Yeah. Of so, yeah. And then he, but he kept also arguing and I'm trying to just turn back around and watch the game. And he keeps on and on and on. Then I get hit in the back of the head and I'm like, that's it. And the girl, I'm like, oh. I said something else. And the girl's like, well, just don't sit there if you don't like it. I'm like, Oh, so you're telling me that if somebody's hitting you in the back of the head repeatedly, that's fine. You're just going to sit there and take it? She goes, just don't sit here. I was like, you know what, I'm done. So, first of all, the one thing I've, well, one of the things I've learned from all the stadium fights I've seen in my life is you don't ever get in a fight if you're in the row below somebody. Because you're going to get your butt kicked. <laughs> you are going to get your butt kicked every time. You have no advantage if you're below them. Also, I'm 44. These people are like, I don't know, late 20s maybe 30. Like I'm not trying to get beat up and go to jail while I have my child with me while I'm just watching a football game. Like I'm really not. So I'm like, I'm going to security. So I tell my son to go with me because I'm not going to leave, even though he's bigger than me, I'm still not going to leave him down there with these people. So I go tell security and they're like, Oh God. So they go talk to the people and told them basically, this is your first and only warning. You're getting kicked out if you keep doing this. So security comes back up. And of course those people were like lying to security when they were talking to them. You could tell they're trying to argue. And a couple people of Steelers fans come up the steps and they go to the security people, not even to me. They go to them and they're like, look, this lady's like, look, 
I just want you to know that I've seen what they're doing and they're lying to you. They've been messing with her the whole game. Other people too, but they've been messing with her the whole game. She told them to stop repeatedly and they are doing it and they're lying to you. And I just want you to know that. And I was like, man, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Because I obviously I know what's happening, but you, you don't need proof really unless somebody's recording it. And so the security's like, yeah, go back down there. If they do anything else, they're on. And I'm like, I don't even really feel comfortable going back down there, honestly, because they're behind me. So I got to like sit there like this the whole time. But we, they're like, this is what we have to do. So I go back down there and the dude immediately, he's belligerently drunk at this point. And so he's like, I would never hit an effing woman, blah, blah, blah. Then like literally 36 letters, like I'm going to kick your effing teeth down your effing throat. And I'm like, all right, we're, we're done. We are done. He's also was telling me how, like, at some point, how he's in the military. He would never harm a woman. He's, like, trying to show me his military ID, which he's, like, fumbling and dropped. And I'm like, so you're threatening a woman and you're flexing that you're in the military. I wish I'd, like, gotten a picture of his ID because I'm petty. I would totally call his command and be like, hey, this is what you, you know. So, yeah, I go back and tell security. As soon as we get up there, the girl, she just comes up the stairs. Like, she already knows that they're getting thrown out. Like, she just came up the stairs. But she came and stood right next to me. And I was like... Get away from me. What are you doing? And so I tell the lady, I'm like, I don't want to stand here with these people. So we go stand in like the, like an ADA section kind of over there away from them. And they go get the guy and they throw him out. Well, so after security's done getting them out of the stadium, they come back to me and they're like, you want to know something hilarious? I was like, what? They're like, when we get the guy, he totally threw his girl under the bus and says she was the one hitting you the whole time messing with you and lying about it. And I was like, oh my God. I mean, I know he hit me that one time, right? I don't know about the other times, but I was laughing so hard and they were laughing. They're like, God, what a bunch of a-holes, you know, basically. So how old were they? Um, they were adults. I would say 24 to 30, maybe. I don't know. I'm bad at ages. Okay, so they were younger, yes. young adults. They were young adults, Just... but they weren't like kids. They weren't kids. They weren't in college. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's in the military, so I assume you're some sort of adult. If you're, yeah. you know, and just belligerently drunk and just harassing everyone. Um, so then I didn't, I didn't even want to go back and sit down there. So we basically like stood in this little roped off section and watched the rest of the game. But it really ruined the whole game for me because I was having to worry about, you know, it was just irritating. I was having to worry about this. And of course the Rams lost, which also sucked. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that was, uh, that was the good time I had at the Rams game. So you weren't worried, like, walking into your car or anything that they were going to jump um, you? Because I would have been worried well, about that. Well, they got – they were removed, like, I think it was in the third quarter. Okay. I'm not exactly sure. It could have been probably between the third and fourth quarter. Um, could, I don't know. But – so, I, I mean, I was a little bit concerned, but we sort of just, like – I don't know. We we left with everyone else. We didn't leave early or anything. We waited till a whole stadium was exiting. And then we were just like walking like this, like head on a swivel. My son at that point was like really mad. He got really mad. He was like, I'm going to, I'm going to knock that guy out. He's hammered. He'll just fall down. I'm like, I really don't want us to get in a fight. Like I really don't want to physically fight people. I know maybe I seem that way, but like, I really don't. It was just it was so did I you think have it would have felt good to get to punch him I think it would have I really nice. I thought if she if the girl comes over for me because you know there's that plexiglass right there I'm like if she leans over I will just grab her and throw her into that plexiglass like I did have that planned out what I was going to do in my mind because I'm not I mean if she actually were to come at me I would have done I mean I'm not gonna you know I've told my kids the same thing you don't need to be getting in fights with people but if somebody actually physically assault you and you can't get away then you need to fight back i mean but i could get away obviously i just went to security because again and they were like people were like call, some of her like supporters i guess were like calling me names i'm like i don't care about your insults yes maybe i'm a the p word for tattletaling but i'm an adult like what am i supposed to do i'm really gonna fight in the stands that just seems stupid plus i'm like sober within with my child like what you know, what am I? If people just knew how to act in right. public anymore, it wouldn't have happened. Right. Like, why? What's the point of intentionally trying to ruin somebody? And this experience? is why certain understand. fan bases have bad reputations. And that fan base does have a bad reputation. I was actually texting our good friend, Liz Marie, about it during the thing. And she's like, God, some of our fans are just the worst. <laughs> she's a huge Steelers fan. <laughs> so, yeah. It's funny. <laughs> funny because I bought her one of those Steeler towels. Those, the t I was, <laughs> yeah, I swear. And actually in the lady that one of the ladies that came up the stairs to like testify for me or whatever, she was like, 
told the security if I was her, I would have grabbed those towels out of their hands already, and I would have thrown them over the rail, <laughs> meaning throwing the people over the rail. So I thought it was hilarious, and the security totally understood. I'm like, what? What? What can we do? Like, do I want to get in a fight? No. Also, I don't know if I'm good at fighting. I mean, I, anymore. I'm old. What, what am I gonna do? Anymore. Like, I'm not saying I was ever really good, but. but. You know. But did you have your hair tie ready? That's what I need to know. I <laughs> learned my lesson that very one day. I will never not have a hair tie on my wrist ever again. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Well, I'm glad that you, you know, came out of there um, fine. fine. That you didn't it's, get beat yeah, up fine. or there was like, you, or you didn't have any markings on your hands. Because no. that would be the worst thing ever, right? Because I'm like, we're kind of a little too old to be getting in that's fights. And thing. you don't want someone right. right pulling your hair. And then you don't want like your hands to hurt. No, I have arthritis. Like I have rheumatoid arthritis. If I punch something, my hand is going to be swollen and hurt. And I'm going to have to go to the hyperbaric chamber for like 10 days to get the swelling down. Like this is ridiculous. I'm like, y'all can call me a wussy if you want. I don't care. I don't need to have like medical problems because these people are jerks. The funniest thing somebody said to me about my story on Twitter was, um, somebody said, well, to be fair, Steelers fans are the only ones that wear dressy sweatpants to funerals and I don't know why but I just found that hilarious <laughs> oh which is a great segment sorry the lights in my eyes again um the great a great segment into um our segue into talking about you know underwear trust oh but before Wait. that oh. I do want to say we do have a really good fan question that we need to get to but I think we need to talk <laughs> about from you know sweatpants into oh underwear and two leggings underwear. Yes. yes because yes and i i was so surprised that about how you guys responded when i put that out there like hey i saw this reel and it was i was like what the heck because there was a whole debate about if you wear underwear under your leggings or not and the girl in this reel was like if you know you know and then she, like of course i don't wear underwear under my legs and I'm like I don't know that's the problem I'm trying to find out and I don't understand right. what, what was her saying. angle like like she didn't she didn't have an angle she was just like if you know you know yeah of course I do it and then like people in the comments were back and forth of course like everybody had an opinion on it but I'm like never was she saying not that in the she history. was she did she does wear she underwear? does do it okay. no she's saying she does not wear oh, right because why okay, under why? the leggings and I I do every time is like I think the only time you could get away with that is maybe black leggings. And even then I'm like, no, absolutely not. Like I'm extra layering stuff. Like, okay. I don't so know. you I just, do wear underwear? I do under wear okay. underwear every okay. time under my leggings. So I have, I, I'm both, I can go either way. So it, during marathon, like when I was running a lot of marathons and training, I always wore like a really, really thin, like it was like an Under Armour thin under like thong basically yeah. underneath because I just kind of, I, again, I wanted to layer it cause I'm going to be out there sweating for like, you know, hours on end. Um, but if it's like just around the house, no, I'm not going to wear underwear in my leggings. See, yeah. see, I, I feel, I would feel vulnerable. I would feel unprotected. <laughs> like to germs or to what? Cause for no, me, I, the free world. I don't, I, the only, I don't wear underwear ever, ever, ever. Like I really Tris. I just, I despise underwear. And we got this I'm, shirt going on. I mean, I, I can't even stop staring. I'm like trying to make sure nothing's coming out here that my boobs are okay. Um, no, because I know I thought that I was like, this is so funny because I'm the one I feel like that's mostly like extra sexy try or you know my dress top are, you know, little like shorts very, yeah yes yes right i have like very few whole t-shirts literally right. most of my shirts are crop top <laughs> i don't even own any full size underwear like everything i have is a thong and i posted a picture in workout clothes the other day on twitter and people were like oh no underwear i love it and i'm just like no it's called a thong what are you talking about like, but can't you can yes, still I'm wearing underwear can't you still see the underwear like if i wear no no mm -mm. the straps mm. i just find underwear really uncomfortable i would never wear my leggings but i think i talked to some of my friends about this when i used to do spin classes and some of them said like they would actually get chafed in certain ways without the underwear but for me i get chafed with the underwear so it has to have something to do with like what's comfortable based on our shape also because for me where even thongs like even when i when i was running marathons i i would actually wear nike shorts with that had like the built-in underwear mostly um uh -huh. but even those got to be so i would wear those to like the gym 
if I didn't have on leggings, but I would cut the underwear out for actual races because I didn't just use, I had to use like the body yeah. glide for my thigh chafing, but see, I cut them out too. The, the little underwear that's inside, yeah. like the Lululemon yeah. shorts, I just cut them all But away you are wearing like underwear body. still. See, any underwear to me is a, is a yeah. hard no. So I am so shocked right now. This conversation means if I was going to guess one person who never wore underwear, it was going to be you, Tris. <laughs> I mean, I no. just I just started not wearing underwear underneath leggings like in the last like two right. years. I mean, because I was with you where I'm like, I can't. I, well, you know what it is. I don't like. I just was like, I don't know. I just. It's just that another layer, I guess, of like... It looks... It's it's drawing attention to the shape of your hoo-ha. And I just... <laughs> like, as much as I am okay with getting attention, I also... I'm like that person. I saw this reel where it was like, after you get baked, before you go to the gym, like everybody was staring at this person as they walk through. I don't want that. I don't want to feel like everybody's so looking. So you're going to get a camel toe without your underwear is what you're saying? Prop, okay. I guess so. I mean, See, I, I don't know. I don't usually have one because I wear, wear underwear. <laughs> the only time I wear underwear is if I'm wearing a dress or a skirt and I'm going on some sort of public transportation or like going to a game. <laughs> that, In that sense, I don't want my bits to be vulnerable, like you're saying. I don't want any like airplane germs yeah. or stadium germs up there. So I would wear underwear under, but actually normally I just wear like bike shorts or something because... Like the leggings are so thin, even like the Lululemon ones, there's like that little, like, I don't know, uh -huh. <laughs> making this shape, this little strip in the middle. That's like more of a mesh than it is actually yeah, I'm okay with a that. fabric or a different material. To me, I'm just like, no, it's, it's open. It's so, <laughs> so Annabelle, do you not wear underwear with your jeans? No. Really? So uncomfortable. I can't. So uncomfortable. I can't do it. My God, see, I have been wearing thongs mm -hmm. since I was like in high school. I had so too, to me, but like, I, I, I stopped wearing underwear like 10 years ago, probably, for the most part. Stuff is always happening down there, though, like whether you want <laughs> I had it a hysterectomy, not, though. This is, I, this is why I think I can, I think this is a part of it. I wasn't sure if we were going to say this. that's why. I had a hysterectomy. Yeah, that's. So there's no, <laughs> there's never any like stuff going on there. Because I know. So like, how do we say it without getting? Beat? Or just guys being like, ew. But like, I know 70 year old women that still wear like little pads during the, you know, all day and like the panty liners or whatever. And I'm like, that means she's still getting crazy. Out there. Okay. Yeah. Kudos well, she's still her. getting turned on and she's having I don't, fun. So, no, hey. it's not about, I think stuff happens whether you're turned on or not sometimes. You know what I mean? I don't think it's about that. I think it's just like your body. Some people, people's body produce different things. But I just, yeah. I, I mean, I just like underwear. I mean, I like, and they're so cute. Like the hanky pankies, you can get like these little lace ones, right? Tris, I mean, and they're like, I have like camo color, like pink camo yes. and like yeah. pink. And then like little ones with cherries on it. I mean, they're so cute. How could you not like underwear? I got underwear to take pictures in, but that's it. Other than that, I never had. What about the seamless? No. The oh, the seamless, seamless ones. ones. Yes. Oh I my God. No, I don't want any, yeah, I don't want don't... anything down there shoved up inside me. No, like thong, regular oh, panties. Oh my goodness. I mean, if I have on regular, like full butt panties, my butt just eats them up. It's like, they go up my butt. <gasps> I just, and the thought, I, I don't, don't have any desire to wear full. No, butt me neither. Panties. But I don't. So what are they called? I don't know. So your butt eats your panties. Uh -huh. Is that what you're yes. telling us? <laughs> but even without that, I just don't want. I hate anything. I hate it. It's so uncomfortable to me. Oh my goodness. This is. Funny. I want to go I, and talk about snacks now, but I think we need to take a second because I can't go from your butt <laughs> eating your underwear to a snack. So I think are we you need sure? to talk about <laughs> the ultimate snack. <laughs> Right? Are you sure you can't? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I probably oh can, but gosh. I think I'm missing one thing, and that is we had a fan write in asking a question, and they wanted to know who your favorite 80s band was, ladies. So, Tris, I need to know, like, I have my favorite, which actually reminded me of this conversation from the um, I... <laughs> leggings, so I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> yeah, I so, and honestly, I was like, Dang. Okay, 80s music. I know that I would know 80s music, and but I was born in 84. Not that like Shh, we're baby. any of us are that different in ages, but I was just like, crap, which one? So I went to Spotify and looked up an 80s playlist. So I was like, <laughs> oh, okay, I do know all these. But I will say, so there were a lot of really good ones on there. It's, it was hard to pick just one, but 
I think when I was in high school, I saw this movie called Muriel's Wedding. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie, but the girl in this movie is completely obsessed with ABBA. And that was the first time that I really knew much about them or anything. And their music is the jam. It's on my playlist. Mm -hmm. I have them all over my Spotify. So I will say ABBA for sure. That's a good online. one. Hmm. Yeah. Some Would not have queen. guessed that one, but okay. I guess it does make sense for you, Dancing Queen. <laughs> I have a whole, like, literally my playlist. I have Frank Sinatra. I have music in French. I have rap music. I have alternative. Like, it really just depends on if I'm in the mood to sing yeah. along with the music or what, yeah. you know. So. Huh. Well, Annabelle, where are you at on yeah, this? Yeah, I don't know if it's, like, tradition, like, if it is considered an 80s, 80s band. Like, I love, like, the Rolling Stones and Queen, New Order. Like, my favorite is David Bowie, but... I don't know if he counts, if that counts as an 80s band or not. I mean, it was definitely popular during that time. But David Bowie is one of my favorites. I think for this conversation, yes, okay. we can use that. <laughs> David, <laughs> David Bowie will count. <laughs> okay, so mine is I love Molly Crew. Yeah. And <laughs> I knew, <laughs> um, in fact, I actually, one of my favorite songs by them is called, like, Girl Don't, um, Girl just was a girl. Don't go away. Mad. Just go away. <laughs> and I like to play it for my kids. Cause I'm like, listen, women can be insanely crazy. And this is what you need to tell them <laughs> just to go away <laughs> or, but use it to get, tell them to get away. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, but I was thinking about that because, um, when we we're talking about leggings, I don't know if you guys have seen the movie dirt on Netflix about mm -mm. Motley Crue mm -mm. and it's really, really good. And I actually had it one of my sons watch it with me one day because he's rolling he's all my kids right now are into electric guitar playing like 80s and 90s like rock and i'm like okay well if you like this let's wa let's watch this show which i forgot in the show it's well they're all wearing leggings anyways right because it's 80s yeah and uh it's all about sex drugs and rock and roll and there is a scene where they're all sitting around a table with their manager and the manager sits down and all of a sudden, this head pops up. This girl's head pops up from underneath the table. And I was like, oh. I was like, sorry, son. Uh, <laughs> but this I is what it was like in the 80s. I don't think they minded. <laughs> no, no, no. But, you know, I'm like, I was just like, bad mom moment right there. <laughs> Forgetting to tell you that there's a ton of, like, you know, yeah. just uh, stuff going on in here. So, anyways, um, but... I guess, you know, we can just talk. Now we'll go back to talking about uh, Tris and her awesome snacks. <laughs> what is the snack of the I week? I feel like there's an implication at this point. <laughs> well, come on now. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I know. Wait, wait. Um, what was that? <laughs> right? Nah, the listeners can't see. No. <laughs> wait, is that latex um, that you're wearing? It's got to be. Yes, it is. Is and it? I... I was taking pictures of my bunny costume, so I have like little ears on. Once you put it on, you got to wear it the whole day because it's too hard to like and I take it off. I had like black gloves and everything. So, oh yeah. my goodness! This and is, what's on the bottom? So I actually just have black. Leggings. Oh my goodness! Oh. Like, yes. like a, I feel very sandy. Grease. Wait, so, yeah, sandy mm -hmm. from Greece, kind okay. of. Okay situation right now um but anyways so snack of the week i haven't even opened these but they're in my pantry right now the <gasps> peanut butter m ms i Aren't have those oh i know that you like these crystals see you always have the good stuff in there but you have like a good mix of ones that i can dig in you have like regular regular you peanut, do peanut butter and peanut butter and peanut, peanut ones yeah, too, peanut. that's the only ones mm -hmm. that peanut yeah. peanut butter they have caramel ones out now too yeah. yeah, there's all kind of good ones. There's like a brownie one. Oh, really we tried good. those, I think, at like Easter or something maybe. And there's some that have like white chocolate or like maybe it was almost like the Hershey's. Yeah. I love white cookies chocolate. Cookies and cream filling or something. I can't remember. Yeah, they weren't good. No, no. no. But yeah, I like to pour them all in a bowl, mix them up. So you stick your hand in there and it's like a surprise in your mouth. Yeah. It's good because it keeps me out of this candy jar surprise. at your house. <laughs> you know, honestly, I can sit there and I have that little jar on the on the island and I can sit there and it will sit there for like months and I won't touch it. And then all of a sudden I'll like one night I'll be like, I just need to have one peanut M&M. &M. And then I'm like, I need to have three more. And then pretty soon it's like, it's all over. Did, you can't just have one. <laughs> Didn't you, have you used to use those as like your snack when you were running long distances, like peanut M&Ms or peanut butter M&Ms? Mm, uh, just M&Ms. Oh, just plain gummy oh, bears. Okay. Yep. 
Uh-huh. I was about yeah. to say, I'm down for a jog with a bag full of candy. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm all right with that. Well, if you're running a long distance, you need that little bit of a sugar yeah. rush, right? Yeah. And so it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, totally. And why not have some M&Ms? And they're easy, like a little pouch. You just stick them in your mouth and... You don't exactly. have to really chew too much, and you can just go. So. Well, if they've been in your, if you've been running, they're probably warm too, so they're a little bit like gooey. I, uh, <laughs> but if you're running this time of year, it's cold oh, outside, yeah. right? So they could be cold. Well, yeah. yesterday I got a small candy bar in the grocery store, and we didn't get a bag because we just grabbed a couple things. Um, one of my kids and I, and kid like puts the stuff in her lap, and then we get home, and she'd had like the butt warmer on the seat, and so I was like, oh, my candy bar is <laughs> totally melted. I mean, it was still in the package, <laughs> but then I just put it in the fridge and forgot about it. So that was better than eating it, probably. <laughs> yeah, then it just comes out a weird shape, yeah. and that's okay. It still tastes the same. Exactly. <laughs> totally ridiculous. Okay, so one Love thing it. I do want to circle back around on is that last week after we recorded this podcast, we did talk about pickles in our food because <laughs> we were talking about chick-fil-a remember that yeah. and we were talking about pickles on chick-fil-a oh i so you guys i got so many like crazy messages of people like furious with me because i don't like chick-fil-a <laughs> i'm like are they have a huge following why do y'all care this much it's like the swifties losing well, their minds over stuff like you're tracking people not. down because they don't like chick-fil-a are you kidding it's not. I sent you that article, right? I sent you a screenshot that Chick Fil A is like the number one fast food place no, I, in America. No, I get that, but I don't know why anyone cares that I personally don't like Chick Fil A. It was. I was shocked at those. I get some hate messages sometimes. Um, usually, it's from guys that have been scammed. I think it's me, but I was surprised to get hate messages regarding Chick Fil A because <laughs> it's so. Ridiculous. But other 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 places put pickles on their food, right? Sure, but I don't want like that other, either. Like I don't want the pickles chicken? from anywhere. Not even in and out Like, when you, you don't get an in and out hamburger and ask for pickles? No, I ask for no pickles. Oh, I don't man, even want my bun out. to be touching pickle juice. I like, yeah. my bread, my this sandwich, my sandwich bread is soggy is from a pickle. Yeah. That is disgusting. Why do I want no. wet bread? Wet bread is about the most revolting texture no. you can put in your mouth. It's Feel not you there. the pickles that do that. It's the tomatoes. No, 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 the tomatoes, no. if they're like, soggy, they do No, it. like a sandwich. Say if you get like a sandwich and it's in like a little basket uh -huh. and they put two pickles on yeah. the side and they're laying up against your bread, your bread gets all wet from the pickle juice on the pickle. Oh, man. <laughs> well, then you're going to really hate the fact that when I was growing up, so <laughs> my grandma used to make homemade <laughs> pickles and I would take a paper towel, stick it in the pickle jar uh -huh. and suck yeah. on the pickle juice. Yeah. It was so <laughs> good. <laughs> so that good. Is, <laughs> sucking on a wet paper towel is the same as like sucking on wet sandwich bread. That is the grossest thing. <laughs> like... I can't even. I just threw up in my mouth a little. That is so nasty. Soggy bread is pretty disgusting. Yeah, soggy like, bread is No, gross. it's not. Sucking on a paper towel. Why did you just get a spoon? Why did you put? He's a paper towel. I don't know. I was like, <laughs> I, I was a kid. I don't know. But you know, people do drink pickle juice. I know, and that is also they disgusting. Do. Yes, also very disgusting. Yeah, I don't. I don't care for drinking the pickle juice or anything. But also, my burgers are plain. Like yeah. I usually get them plain and dry. Or sometimes I'll get mustard on them, but that's it. Like, I don't even want cheese oh on my, my bread. God. Wait, you don't... Oh my, that's don't, weird, too. <laughs> what? I'm not going to lie. Well, it depends... I'm sorry. It depends on where it, where it's at. Like, McDonald's, it's appropriate to have cheese on the burger. It just tastes right. Um, but everywhere else, for the most part, I but don't. But no, like, no condiments or cheese? Some Usually, like, mustard sometimes. Or sometimes I dip it... I used to be a lot more picky. Like, I used to dip my pancakes in the syrup because I didn't want the pancakes to get No, soggy. I agree with that. That's how picky. That's not picky. Yeah, That's, like, no. rational because you're keeping the proportions, like, correct. <laughs> exactly. Like, nothing's exactly. getting – like, the, <laughs> if you put all the syrup on the pancake and you start eating, those first pieces are perfect. By the time you get to the end, they're both dry right. and soggy. And well, you no need to eat it faster. Unless it's, eat faster. Yeah, unless it's a crispy <laughs> pancake. Like, Cracker Barrel has a perfectly crispy oh, yeah. pancake. You can put syrup – all over the pancakes and that's fine i've gotten better i'm not as picky but mustard is the max that's the only thing i'm gonna get on there what you i mean not even like a thousand ellen dressing like what about an in and out like an aioli or <laughs> what like about an in and out oh, no my God. no you just eat the dry do you eat the just bread mustard. too yeah so I eat the bread, bread meat and that's all just bread and meat okay. that's <laughs> wow this is a very interesting conversation i learned so much about you guys on these <laughs> on these recordings never serve uh tris anything that you know 
ha- is, has a liquid on it, or I guess. Next <laughs> week, we're going to talk about angry their steak orders make me. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, well, we are going to a steakhouse next well, week. <laughs> yeah, but you get your, you want your steak like, like, it's, and then it's done. Yeah. You're like, it's good. It's perfect. And I'm she like, wants it still mooing. No. I want it medium. I want it between rare plus and medium rare. No more than like a medium rare. What was oh, it like? Man. I had gotten a steak that I, I think I did medium. Maybe I just did medium, and I usually do well done. And I was like, you would be proud of me, but also kind of. And I was still so, like, that's way we're cooked. <laughs> <laughs> I do mine medium well. Yeah. Is this still a little okay. bit of a pink? Yeah. A little bit yeah. of a pink it's still. Like, it's like okay. You know, I don't want my <laughs> my meat still being cold in the it's middle. It's not I cold. Want it, like, it's warm and tender and I don't juicy. want it bleeding. It's not blood, though. It's just the juices of the meat. Ugh. It's blood. Mm, that <laughs> comes out red. Comes it's out just red. the juices of the meat. That's the excuse. It's not, I'm no, it's not the same thing as blood it. coming out of a cow. Those are not the same thing. Okay. Well, then I want to know, do you take your mashed potatoes and, like, push it into that juice? Hell no. Okay. Just curious. <laughs> what? Nope. Just wondering. Absolutely not. I mean, I don't, but, you know, just wondering because... No. Making fun of my sucking on pickle juice over here. I mean, that's weird. <laughs> I mean, I do lots of weird stuff, too. I'm just saying, that's a weird one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so I think that about wraps it up for this week. Um, again, you guys can listen to us, our podcast on Apple or Spotify. You can go to irrationalmoms.com and find us on YouTube and listen to us and watch us so you get a bonus seeing us and uh, listening to us. And then also don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment because we love, you know, hearing like what your favorite, uh, or w- we want to hear what your comments are and any suggestions that you have and any questions. Yep. Yes, absolutely. And we will be back with more snacks next week. I'm excited. Bye. Bye. Bye.